Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of Properties of Operations. This is standard 6.7D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 31 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we need to know which expression is equivalent to, and then we've got this uh, little bit of an expression here, 3p plus 2 in parentheses multiplied by 7, right? And so we need to uh, figure out how we could use a different property of operation possibly to figure out what this means. All right, so let's, let's do this first. I see it's a little bit backwards but I see the distributive property here. So let's use that. And we can also double check this by just putting a value in there. All right, here's what the distributive property says. If you multiply a value, so in this case we'll say A, by an expression. So the example they always use is B plus C, right? So I have B plus C, whatever those two values are, I wanna multiply that by A. What you can do is you can distribute this A and multiply it by both of those terms individually and add the result. So you could say, well, A plus B, or A times B plus your A times C. So these two are equal. So you could distribute out or you can multiply out that A by both terms separately. And even though they've got this right here, there's my A and there's my B. It doesn't have to be addition. Right, it can be subtraction, but I see this a times b plus c. They just have the a on the back side. So let's let's look at it that way. Let's get this seven. We can have the seven up at the front. Seven times three p plus two. Right, so it's going to be the same thing. I just move this seven up to the front, right, because that's the commutative um, property of multiplication. You can multiply two factors in this case. This is a factor, and then this is a factor. I'm using this expression all at once. Multiply them in any order, you're going to get the same product. So look, this looks exactly like we did up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this out. So 7, right, so here's my AB, right? So I'm going to do 7, that's my A, times 3P, and then I'm going to add my AC. So that's 7, remember that's my A times 2. Okay, so that's the distributive property at work. Let's see what I can simplify. I don't know what that p is, so I'm not really going to be able to get away from that p, but take a look. All of our answers still have that p, so they're not asking you to solve for p. We're just going to keep that there, but I can multiply 7 times 3. That's 21, so I've got 7 groups of 3p, so that's really just 21p. And then 7 times 2, that's 14. So there we go. 21p plus 14. So I see that answer down there as D. Now, how can we verify that this is true? Well, let's just put, you know, put some values in there, right? So let's go super easy. What happens if P equals 0? I love it when P equals 0 or X equals 0, whatever the, the unknown is, because you can really eliminate stuff, right? So take a look at this. 3p plus 2 times 7. So I'm going to make this 3 times 0 plus 2 times 7. So that just makes 0. So it's 0 plus 2 times 7. So really it's 2 times 7. So that's 14. So let's plug in a 0 here. If I make this 3 times 0 plus 9, does that make 14? Nope, that's going to make 9. Right? It works here in B, right? So maybe that's a maybe. It doesn't work here in C, and it does work here. All right, so that eliminated A and C. So let's put in 2, right? So 3 times 2 plus 2 times 7, that's going to be 6 plus 8 times 7, right? That's going to be 14 times 7, and that is going to be 98. And if we put a 2 here, that is going to be 6 times 14, not 7 times 14. So B doesn't work. So my answer is D.